Hello guys, hope you are doing great. I'm Sampat. Today I'm going to show you how to collect our targeted company's decision makers information using Crunchbase and Apollo.io. Using both tools, we can have a chance to collect our exact targeted company's decision makers information in a very easy way. Before going to that, if you are looking for any kind of B2B data, B2B data based on targeted industry or location or job title or employee size wise, anything you can approach me, I will provide you fresh and verified results. Not only that, if you are looking for recently funded companies, decision makers information or targeted investors or like targeted C-level executives or local business information or uh, B2B, any kind of B2B data requirement or like social media influences information or if you are looking for Instagram competitors, like if you have any Instagram competitors pages, we can have a chance to scrap their publicly mentioned, their followers publicly mentioned email IDs and mobile numbers. If you are looking for any kind of B2B data or like web scrapping services, you can approach me. I'm mentioning my contact details in that video description box. You can directly message me on WhatsApp or you can approach me through other social media accounts. Let us jump into the process. First, Crunchbase. Already I have subscribed to Crunchbase and Apollo.io. So if you have a Crunchbase, then definitely that would be very helpful for us because using Crunchbase, we can have a chance to collect our exact targeted companies in a very simple way. Now, if you can see here, I'm going to the companies, like there are many other uh, futures here, like at present, we are going to the company's future, like companies, then we can see all the filters here. We can filter data based on uh, headquarters location or pin code or industry wise or like uh, uh, employee size wise or founded date wise or like uh, we can go through by financials like uh, companies based on funded companies or like uh, uh, their annual revenue size like we can have a chance to segregate data in a very very proper way actually suppose for example now I need to target some particular artificial intelligence companies so now I'm going to show you how I, I can filter my targeted companies here like suppose for example now I need to uh, target United States my location would be like uh, uh, US then after my industry target will be like uh, artificial intelligence companies okay now here like if you can see here uh, count is changing for every every filters now I'm gonna click software I need to target artificial intelligence companies now we can see here 13,000 companies okay now that companies I need companies only that got funded past here so we can go to financials so once we go to the financials then we can have an option uh, companies that got funded okay so I need companies that got funded past here so now if you can see here now I'm gonna selected a United based artificial intelligence companies especially to who are already got funded okay so why because I'm selecting is like maybe uh, they definitely try to leverage uh, like try to increase this their revenue through that way they need a lot of service providers now here I can see like 1500 companies now I need um, I'm gonna select more proper way like uh, for example now I need to target only 700 600 companies so now I need to select based on that. Now I'm going to select 1 to 10 here. Then I need to select only employee side uh, less than 250 because I don't want very small companies and I don't want very large companies. Uh, 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 now we can see here all the information like company name, uh, company social media accounts, uh, like we can see here like uh, company headquarters location funded date and uh, company website URL like company contact email ID and contact number and description and uh, like number of funded uh, number of fund funded rounds or funded amount etc 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 now I'm gonna select all oh, I'm gonna select all 678 so what gonna do is like after selecting all 678 I'm going to export here like if you can see here export to CSV we can download all these results so make sure we need a pro subscription for exporting all this information and we have a limited actually so we can we can have only have a chance to 
export 1000 results per time. Now, after exporting the results, now we can see here, we can have a chance to see data like this. Now we can see organization name, last funded date, like all the information we can have a chance to see here. Founded date, website, social media URLs, contact email, and uh, funded round, mount funded rounds, etc. etc. So now we are collected already, we are collected our targeted companies using Crunchbase. What we are going to do is now we need to collect that company's decision makers information. So using Apollo, we are going to do that. Now what I'm going to do is like, uh, I'm going to copy this company's uh, websites URLs first. So now I'm going to copy this company websites. Now we can see here company websites. I'm going to copy here. Then I'm going to going to Apollo. So using Apollo, we have a lot of filters here. Apollo having a lot of databases. They are having around like 300 million data. Uh, here we can see all the filters. We can job titles, location, industry, uh, email status. We can filter uh, all the data based on that. Now what we need is like we need this filter like companies. Companies. And uh, we need to include the companies. Now I'm pasting here all the our targeted companies. Now I'm clicking save and search. Once I click and save on the search, now we can see all the uh, employees available on these websites. Now we can see 30k data. So we can see if you are like CEOs, co-founders and all. So this is really uh, this is really good and this is really amazing actually. So now what I'm going to do is like I'm going to select more. Like I need uh, employees who are in who are from especially US only. I don't want from outside. Maybe these companies having multiple locations. I don't want uh, uh, other other countries uh, decision makers. Make sure I want US based decision makers. Now I'm gonna select here. Make sure headquarters should be US. Again, I'm selecting U United States. So now we can see here only 18k results. So because remaining all people might be working some other countries, like they might have some other branches, they might be working some other uh, countries. Like now we have selected our targeted companies and our targeted location. Now we need to select job titles or targeted job titles. What I'm going to do is like I'm going to management level. So I'm going to select owner, founder, C-suit, partner, VP, uh, head director uh, I am selecting all these results if we had so now once I select this information or we can see maybe some results because we are filtering all the results here see now we can see 4.7k results but uh, if you can see 4.7k results means all this all this uh, people might not have email IDs like okay so only here we can see 765 only valid emails out of 4.7k. Here already I have earlier saved these companies decision makers like uh, here I have saved 765. If you can know already I have saved that's why it might sh not show now. So make sure we need to select here email status verified. So once we click verified then we can see only verified data. So if we didn't click this we don't have a chance to see verified information. Uh, we can see information without emails and maybe un unverified data. So now, so out of 4.7K, now I have six, 765 verified results here. So now we can see few companies, CEOs, direct CEOs information is there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all select 765. Then once I select, then I'm going to export the results here. If you can see, once we click export, once we click this, we can have a chance to export. So once we export, then we can have a chance to see results like this. Loading, like, uh, so we can see all the information here, like first name, last name, title, we can see here, CEOs, co-founders, vice president, VP sales. So this is good, right? Like these are the, our targeted companies actually. So we can see email IDs. Uh, we can see seniority level, number of employees that company is having, person, person, uh, person LinkedIn ID. Like we can see websites, states. So we can see a lot of more information here.
now we have exported or targeted decision makers information so now this is amazing right see what i'm going to suggest is like make sure verify this data also like if if apollo says verified also better we can uh, re-verify this data also because if we can send all these emails maybe we might uh, our emails might go to some emails might go to spam or if these all these emails are not good if suppose so make sure verify these results also like uh, basically i use this website called clearout.io for email verification like you can use whatever best you want so this is the process guys like uh, uh, first we need to go through the crunch base and we need to collect our targeted companies then we can take the uh, that companies then we can go through the crunch base then we can collect all the decision makers information so this is the process so this is a very simple process like once we have these subscriptions for those tools uh, once we know how to use these tools then it will be very easy to collect all this information so, so as i said if you don't want to do all this work you can directly approach me i will collect all this information as i already have subscriptions i will collect all this information i will verify and i will give it to you verified results at the end not only this if you are looking for any kind of b2b data as i said like big data based on industry job roles locations employee size or local business data or social media influencers infor investors information anything like this you can directly approach me uh, i mentioning my contact details in the uh, videos description box like you can directly approach me through whatsapp or other social media accounts so if you can go through the videos description then you might find easily my whatsapp contact so thank you very much for watching this video so please make sure subscribe my youtube channel thank you